Brent, which is located right Unity was the AAC. common message throughout and the ASI general election debate. Broncos United and senators representing CPP1 took the podium for a question and answer session during Thursday's university hour to explain what they believe students on campus were lacking. Current ASI Vice President Jonathan Gianu, who is running uncontested for the ASI presidential position, says constant interaction between ASI and the students they represent is necessary in solving their issues. I think there isn't one solution to all of our problems. I think each problem needs to be addressed individually and I think that you need to find a way to accommodate all of those. That, you know, as, 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 uh, as awkward as it sounds, you need to have like engage them as much as possible. You have to have those conversations with them. Get them in groups and just, hey, what do you want, what, what do you like, what about like this idea? And it's just, the hard part is taking that first step and getting them engaged. Speeches took a serious tone when CPP1's candidate for multicultural senator, Robert Ward, responded to a comment made by Bronco United's engineering senator candidate, Erica White. White said she wants to focus on increasing the number of female students in the engineering department rather than focusing on those in the LGBTQ community calling the LGBTQ lifestyle a sexual preference. Robert Ward explains the fact that gender identity and status of sexual preference is a bothersome ideology that should be considered throughout the campus. There's a lot of little things within the LGBTQ community that people just don't understand. It's such a, it is, we are a minority and we are a um, growing invisibility minority. We haven't always been a minority that's always been accepted and on the public stage. So there are little things that do, I wouldn't necessarily say offend, but maybe irk us. And that was just one that I guess t kind of touched a personal chord because uh, there is that stigma of that uh, it's a choice so it can be fixed. Though all the candidates were not present at the debate, ASI elections chair Almed Albiali said that all candidates will be out on campus during the actual election. The heaviest three days of campaigning are the voting, are the voting days, May 10, 11, and 12. So those are the days where you actually find all the candidates out in their suits around U hour, you know, um, trying to uh, get endorsed and have students vote for them because those are the heavy, those are the most heavy packed days. This is Jose Gonzalez reporting for the Poly Post. Please check online the elections.